What's going on everybody? C4 here. Welcome back to the channel on this beautiful Saturday afternoon for episode 39 of Madden 20's Flashback Pink Slip Season 2 with the Hawaii Warriors. That, that's kind of confusing though when I say that because really we're in our third season, year three with Hawaii, but it's just, I'm going to stop saying season two on the intro because it definitely it confuses me when I get going, but it technically a team is a season and we're on to our second team, therefore it's season two. But either way, year three with the Hawaii Warriors, we are five and three. And this episode, week 10, 11, 12, and 13, is going to be powerful if we're going to make the playoffs here in year three. We made the playoffs in year one. We were first team out of the playoffs in year two. And sitting at five and three, given where our roster is at as an 88 overall, it's definitely a little disappointing, for sure. Uh, that week nine loss against Pittsburgh, that was a one-win Steelers team. So, kind of just reminds you that anything can happen in the sim. Um... Well, this is huge, man. I mean, in the fact that we get to play our first two games, Week 10 and Week 11, we get to hop in. That Week 11 game is against a divisional foe. But then Week 12 and Week 13, very important games for the division. You got to rely on the Sim because they're home games. That's a little scary. It is a little scary that really, if we lose Week 12 and Week 13, we're probably not making the playoffs. And that is fully in the power of Madden. We really don't have any control over it. It'd be nice if when it comes to Week 12, we're 7-3. You know what I'm saying? It'd be it'd be nice if we could handle our business week 10 and week 11, which I feel fairly confident. We win the games that we hop in and play more often than not. I would say out of every five games that we play, we win four of them. Um, and I'm excited to play because in the last episode, even though we ended with a loss to a one-win team, we played Houston and we won the first GOAT, the first legend from this Madden 20 flashback pink series. And that's Andre Johnson from the Houston Oilers. I mean, he's got... Juice to the gills. He has like at least three to four uh, pink slip specials from the spin the wheel. As you can see with the 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 97 catching, 96 catching traffic, 95 route running, 99 deep route running, the release, the jumping. It's a good night. He's a god. And you pair that with Calvin Johnson. Johnson and Johnson, get your lotion ready. You're about to get worked for $8.99 behind a Denny's dumpster. That's what happens when you see the Hawaii Warriors and you see that it's an away game and you see that Colt Brennan gets quite possibly in myself, maybe the best. Give me a quarterback under a 65 overall. I don't think there's a better Madden player in the world right now. On the face of God's green earth, there's not a better below 65 overall user quarterback than myself. I, I, I take that name and title to heart. I take it very seriously. I understand my responsibility. And uh, I think we're gonna put it on full display here. It's Dallas. I want to put up 80, 89 points. I want to steal all the way, you know, all their good players. I don't know who they have. So let's double check that. They still probably ooh. I'll tell you right now to your face. I see Brian Westbrook, who's probably super old, but Jared Allen is one of my favorite players ever. And if I could find a way to get old Jared Allen on my squad, and I know that's only gonna come by way of a of a of a plus ten, most like what's Jared Allen's overall? Because. I've, you know, he was in our very first original pink slip series that we did. I can't, I literally, I always wish I was a Madden 18. Might have actually only been Madden 19. But Jared Allen is one of my favorite players of all time, and I would love to bring him in. He's a 92 overall. Well, I wouldn't want to flip Merriman, but who's my other defensive end? 86. So I, I only need a, I only need a three star to get Jared Allen. No, and I actually do also like, El I loved Elvis Dumerville. When he was coming out of Louisville, he had like 30-some sacks at Louisville. Um, but yeah, that's where we're going. We're going minimum three-star performance here because I want Jared Allen bad. Yes! First play, first drive. And there we go. We got 96-yard touchdown, Andre Johnson. Oh. You just, no. That's not, oh. I mean, I don't even want to like, be like, oh, you can't do this, you can't do this. You can't do that, Dallas. You cannot. Especially in that, just go no safety up over top and put Hill, who we have no idea who that is, let's be honest, in coverage. Welcome to the... I like to say, welcome to Hawaii, Andre Johnson. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, let Delaney Walker get a little bit of the action. Big catch there. We are just, we are suffocating them at this moment. I, you know what? I, you'll, look, coach is telling me 
to run slants. But I feel like we've already we've already flexed our muscles a little bit with the streaks. Verts till it hurts. I'm not gonna need to. I'm not gonna need to lower myself to calling slants on the Dallas Cowboys. Let's, this game's already over in the first quarter. Okay. We'll, we'll try to we'll try to up our playbook here and impress the guys in the comment section. Ah! And let's just finish it like we did the last drive. Adrian Peterson right up the middle. I pretty, I pretty much feel like any rush that you do that's not like a like a stretch. It's a, it's it's an impressive. Deserves a round of applause. Oh, there we go. A little bit of the other Johnson doesn't want to be overshadowed. Oh my God, I mean we're making Colt Brennan look like Peyton Manning right now with the, just the the playmaking ability, the ability to get separation downfield that this wide receiver core has. It's only a matter of time we find Deshaun Jackson for seventy-five yards. Oh, there it is. Deshaun Jackson, contested catch, downfield. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's insanity. Andre Johnson goes over a thousand yards on the season. And that is our 62 quarterback throwing a dime. Well, I mean, it's gonna. No! Come on, Megatron. Calvin Johnson is like, for those of you that are in the know for Call of Duty, there's a new gun that just got released in Call of Duty. It's a vector. The, the I don't know what the actual name of it is. And everyone says it's amazing. Everyone says this vector's are unreal. You got a player that I'm an SMG guy. Tried playing it last night. Worst gun I've ever used in my life. I'm gonna apply that here. Calvin Johnson should be insane, and he's getting. He just has not lived up to any of the hype and expectations that I've had since he's been on the Hawaii Warriors. Oh boy, so calculating our star rating from this game, we won the game, we won by 21, so that's one and a half stars. Just from that, looking at Colt Brennan, one hell of a game. Looking like he was right back at the University of Hawaii with like these air rate numbers, over 500 yards. I don't know where that puts him all time single game passing. I'm gonna need to double check that. He's definitely in the top 10 and he had five touchdowns. It's, it's, it's one full star for Colt Brennan. On the rushing standpoint, we got a half star for Adrian Peterson getting two rushing touchdowns. We got a star and a half for Andre Johnson in his debut game play. Going for seven catches, 288 yards, and three touchdowns. He gets a full star for 200 yards and a half star for three touchdowns. And on the defensive side, you know, pretty, you know, tough not getting any points there because two sacks are worth half a star. But we had two total interceptions, Lito Shepard and Brian Dawkins, the former Philadelphia Eagles. Each interception's worth half a star each. One full star for the picks. It's a five and a half star performance. Five star, plus 10 upgrade, and an opportunity to spin the wheel. All right, it's time to spin the wheel before we figure out who we get. Obviously, it's going to be Jared Allen and most likely someone else from the Dallas Cowboys, but let's spin this wheel. Really, no bad options. I guess I'm trying to pick a team because I know I'm getting Jared Allen. That's already in the head, so I guess if we get pick a team, it'd be useless. But given how overpowered that victory is, we don't really at this point need the spin the wheel. And it's pink special, so we got plus two throw power. Plus two acceleration, plus two sprint speed for any player on our roster. So before we do that, actually, look at this. We got weekly awards. Cole Brennan, obviously, is going to be our offensive player of the year. Outst our offensive player of the week. Outstanding performance. We also, from that, got two skill points to spend on him to kind of see, you know, do we get any extra throw power? He's going to get more than the plus two throw power that we got from the wheel spin option. And unfortunately, he does not. Let's just go right in here. He's a 64 overall quarterback now. And let's go find your throw. I think his throw power is actually pretty good right now anyways. 94, just going to up that to an old 96, which takes him up to a 66 base, plus all the confidence boost. But now we get two acceleration, two sprint speed. And it, even though I'm very frustrated with him, we might as well just continue to make Calvin Johnson an absolute machine. 
So we're going to give him that. And I can't even give him the acceleration. I give. I, I feel like we should be able to give like one acceleration to like... Let's give an acceleration to AP, maybe. You know, use, use those full things. So we'll get AP up to a 97 acceleration. And now we get to find our upgrade from the Dallas Cowboys, which is, like I said, it's going to be Jared Allen and somebody else. We're going to max out our plus 10. You knew we were going to use this six right off the rip to flip. Superstar Dev, D and Elvis Doomerville for Jared Allen. In reality, it's not a brutal loss for the Dallas Cowboys. They're still getting a really good edge rusher. Uh, we're going to make literally a one-point upgrade here, flipping Brian Robinson, setting him back to Texas. He's 26-71 star for Chris Canty, who's 26-72 star. So literally a one-point upgrade. Uh, and then we're going to flip Jay Ratliff, who I actually think spent a lot of his career with the Dallas Cowboys, who's a 28-72 star dev D tackle. You get a Moby Okoye, 22-75 normal dev. So we're getting up a dev trait, but we're getting a guy with a higher ceiling. Oh, the pressure from Jared Allen in his first game. And on the opening drive, Darrell Revis, the best corner in the National Football League, starts off with an interception. And the fire uniforms are back. Not a good drive. Not a good drive. Things are not going to be as easy as they were a week ago in Dallas. Get out of here. Brian Dawkins says enough of this. Last time we played him, Chris Johnson went off. Last season, not going to happen today. A good scramble play. Megatron now faster than ever with the help of Mexican supplements. Makes a big time play. Oh, no. Gold Brandon just got sniped. Who's that? That's a huge last name. Is that Dominique Rogers Camardi? It is one of our former players. The big game play. I mean, that, that could... That could shift all the momentum back in the way of the San Antonio Marshals. That is a costly interception from a guy that when we play with Colt Brandon, we do not turn the ball over. That was a great read, great jump of the ball. Luckily, it wasn't a pick six. Oh, no safety. Is that T-Sizzle? I feel like that's Terrell Sucks. And it is. Terrell Sucks, two big-time defensive playmakers for the Marshals have kept them in it. Their offense has done nothing, but their defense has come to play. Are you kidding me? That's Joe Staley. Just got sent back on his ass five yards. Hey, 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 hey. Four down, four down, four down. Thank you, Andre Johnson. Why did you throw that? Why could you possibly decide to throw that ball? Third and two, and Adrian Peterson gets stuffed behind the line of scrimmage. I have not seen a defensive performance like this against any of my pig slip teams. I don't know if ever since we've done this series. We cannot do a damn thing right. Get off me. Let's go. That's what we need. Let's go. We have to go slants, man. We had to get something going on offense. Slants to Deshaun Jackson to give this offense some sort of pulse. 54 yards. It's good. Third and six here. We are in fringe scoring range. I think Mason Crosby does have this range. But I'll see if we can get him to bite on the play action and get a bigger play downfield. We got A. Let's go Deshaun. Oh, that is just... You gotta be good to be lucky. That was to Desha that was to Deshaun Jackson. I saw. I think that was the corner make a break on. I thought it was going the other way. Probably Dominique Rogers Camardi. And then out of nowhere, it's just Megatron two feet in. I don't know if he actually got two feet in. Would they challenge that? They don't even challenge. Let's go for two. All right. Weirdest touchdown I I've scored in recent memory. And then we'll just there's the interception that they rightfully deserved, but it doesn't matter. Still now have the lead. What a third quarter for Y. Great halftime pep talk from Chip Kelly and the rest of his coaching staff. Come on, AP. Finish the drive. -off. Finish the drive. -off. Great block. Terrible play call. Zero run defense. No resistance from that Marshalls defense that was suffocating in the first half. And Hawaii is a two-point conversion away from going up six points. 
Right, no interceptions. Ooh, I actually really like... We might just throw it to AP as quick as we can out the backfield. That's not a good decision, but we'll take on Colt Brennan. Got to remember, this guy got like low 80 speed. He's a good athlete. And a wise hit, 21 points. Oh, or just... Or just that. Hate the fact that I did the necessary spin move because I would have been a pick six and an extra star rating. But that's something that's been a Madden issue for 20 years now. Garbage time or not, it's pink slips. You score whenever you can. Um, we won the game and it was a divisional win, which is two stars right off the rip. We had the turnover advantage, which is worth half a star. You look at our player performances here. We got nothing for Colt Brennan, but we have a full star for Adrian Peterson for going over 100 rushing yards and getting two rushing touchdowns. We have on the defensive side, three picks for Darrell Revis. That is a full one and a half star performance from Revis Island himself. It's a five star. It's a plus 10. However, I made a, a promise that if I ever got in an episode, this is how it happened. It happened before with the Oilers. If we, in one episode, if we got two five-star performances in a four-game period, we'd up the difficulty up to all Madden. Well, it's coming. It's coming. Okay, so before we go up to all Madden, let's at least have something positive and spin the wheel yet again. Uh, in this scenario, really all the options are good. Pick a team would be fine because the Marshals aren't particularly strong. I mean, they have Terrell Suggs and Dominique rogers Camardi, but there we go with the pick a team. I, I can't commit that we're going to stay with the Marshals, but basically we can get any plus 10 upgrade across the league. We're going to make the most of it. All right, so I might as well show you the short list that we're working on for this plus 10, and we, we can come to our decision. So quarterback, obviously people are going to say, we're not going to flip, you know, Cole Brennan, but maybe we can flip Fitzpatrick. The highest we could go is an 83, and how we use the plus 10 when you use around is has to be a plus 10. I'm not going to be nickel and diming points uh, because it's already very overpowered, but Chad Pennington is the only option here. Really not what we're going to be looking for. Uh, the other top candidate was on the center position. We could flip Satelli for Richie Incognito, who's an 89 superstar dev center. Obviously, Richie Incognito. Some people like him. Some people hate him. Uh, I, I think it'd be a very interesting get, but I feel like with this luxury, with some of the other players you're going to see, uh, uh, especially two on the defensive side of the ball, uh, you know, it's, it's probably not the strongest pick we could use. Another option at a defensive end, we can go up to an 83 overall. And sitting down here at 83 is a very young Calais Campbell, who is a superstar X-Factor on the New York Giants. He's really good. Very gigantic human being. I'm considering I really wish this was the end and I could throw it a poll. Um, but I think we have to go... I mean, the, you're not getting the depth. You're losing the X-Factor, I suppose. But there's only so much X-Factors you can do. Patrick Willis is here. He's the perfect linebacker for our scheme. We have already we already have our edge rushers and Jared Allen and whatever. And I don't want to get into moving Clay's Campbell to D tackle. You know, we, we probably could move him to D tackle, which could just give us all that beast. But uh, I feel like with this, we can get Patrick Willis and move Hitner to one of the outside linebacker spots. So this is going to be the player we use with our plus 10 overall. Any team in the league, we're going to get Patrick Willis from the Pittsburgh Steelers. There's a plus 10. We're flipping Steven Tullock, who's a 76 star. Not a brutal looking player, but obviously he's, he's not Patrick Willis. And then while we're here, we got the trade accepted. We will, I'll guess, kind of show you a little bit how I do this. Always just, you know, you guys have to move to the team that you're trading for because obviously, no, the computer will not accept it. But we are going to go to the old settings, league settings, and we're on all Madden. Peter all Madden, here is our new look linebacking Kobe at Beeson and Whitner. Now is our outside linebackers. Patrick Willis controlling and manning the front there. And really, when you look at like where can our team improve, it, it could have been doing something like bringing in Calais Campbell, moving to D-tackle or something like that. But I'm happy with my team, very happy with my team. And I hope that they can, you know, pay me back by not going 0-2 here in these two sim games that are massive for our playoff push. Colts, a team that generally in this series, because we've been in the division the whole time, oh my God, we're up 14 0. The Colts have handled us more often than not. Edger and James still got nightmares, but I guess Colt Brennan decided today was going to be the day that he was going to go off at home as we are skunking them in the first half. 27 10. 
But if we could do that, there's... Oh my god, what is going on? We are smoking the 40 bomb in the sim. This team is, has peaked that we can win games like this with like a 60-some overall quarterback against Peyton Manning. We just embarrassed them in front of our fans. 44 to 25. Adrian Peterson, 235 rushing yards. I'll calculate the score, but one hell of a game from all day. So, oh, calculate the star ratings here. We won the game. It was a divisional win. We won by 14 plus. So that's two and a half stars for the victory. And then it's time to get into the player stats. Cole Brown had a good game, but didn't really help himself for pink stuff. But Adrian Peterson, 235 rushing yards, four touchdowns on the game. That's two stars for Adrian Peterson by himself. Andre Johnson went seven for 121 and two. That's one full star for going over 100 yards and two touchdowns. Didn't get anything defensively here, even though uh, Whitner had a strong game in his new position. A couple sacks there. So it's a five and a half star performance. We cut it in half and round up because it was a sim game. It's a three star plus six upgrade for the Hawaii Warriors, who now might be first place in the division. And we're only going to use five points. We're going to get back one of our players that have been stolen in years past. I, I did not really I like the idea of giving up a Pac-Man Jones. I love, you know, he's been pretty solid for us. But Brent Grimes for a zero point upgrade, getting an X factor on a player that we've previously had and have lost. I kind of want to bring that back in the building. And then we're using five of our six to upgrade Andre Caldwell, who's a 70 normal, to bring in Michael Crabtree, who's a 75 star. Before we kick off the final game of the episode, we'd have almost 9,000 XP to spend here for Chip Kelly. So uh, let's see what we can upgrade. We already have QB boost. We, like, what one do we actually? We'll get DB training. I feel like probably expert scouting might take top priority next. And then out of these ones, let's. Yeah, you know, we're always going to have young wideouts. Let's spend that there too. We still got 2,000 in the bank. Which is good. It's a good spot to be. Uh, that we can, you know, quickly get another upgrade, say, on the running backs or the tight end. So let's finish out our thing here. Try to go 4-0. and oh. We are now first in the division. Want to maintain that lead. And a great way to do that is against kind of a team that's trending down. A team that gave up, essentially, in the second half when we played them a couple weeks ago here in the San Antonio Marshalls. Come on. 4-0, and oh, baby. Let's get that 4-0. Let's have another almost 300-yard day from Adrian Peterson. That would be nice. San Antonio on the board, but we're able to equalize. Tie this one up at seven apiece here. Go ahead, field goal. Maybe going to halftime with a lead. Would, it's always ideal where you want to be, but Marshalls get a late touchdown. We go all the way down the field. We get a touchdown of our own. We're maintaining that field goal lead. San Antonio ties up the field goal in the third. 17-17. They're going down the field again. Settle for a field goal. Great stop from the defense. Now we're going the other way. We get our own field goal. Fourth quarter, everything to, everything to play for. 20-20. And the Marshalls get a touchdown. What? Oh, my God. It's beautiful. When we need a score, we get one. They turn the ball over in the fourth quarter. Could have just played for overtime. They're panicking. They're throwing everything against the wall. That should be the dagger, right? It is. They go down the field. The Marshalls, too little, too late. An impressive performance as Chip Kelly and his Hawaii Warriors go 4-0 in the episode. We'll calculate the star rating here. Hopefully, it's pretty good at face value. It doesn't look like it'll be a crazy one, but still another player to add to our insane roster. So, calculate the score. We won the game, and it was a divisional victory, so that's two stars. We had the advantage in the turnovers, which is worth half a star for our players. Uh, Colt Brennan going over 300 yards is worth half a star. Um, pretty close for two wide receivers getting some scoring, but they did not. Defensively, however, we did get Brent Grimes in his first game back with the Warriors. Got interception, which is worth half a star. So it's a three and a half star performance. You cut it in half and round up. It's a two, it's a two star plus four upgrade to finish out the episode. Marshals aren't a great team, and literally I could only even find one upgrade that was even worth making. So I'm not even gonna use the full plus four. We're only using two. We're gonna flip Jock Reeves, who's a 75 normal. And we're going to bring in Jarius Bird, who kind of was like a true DB. More of a safety than corner, but he was classified as a corner. 77, superstar dev. Still, nice upgrade. Good depth piece. That's how we are going to edit episode. Very, very good episode. Starting at 5-3, and three, ending 9-3 and three in top in our division with a game over the Indianapolis Colts. And there is how we finish out the regular season. Week 14 against Cincinnati. We get to sim that one. Week 15 
against the Colts. We get to play that one. Week 16 against the Bills. We sim. And then everything on the line. Week 17. Control our destiny against the New York Giants. So with how well we played when we hopped in, we should feel comfortable. Should feel comfortable in those two games. And we should get two more wins. Get double digit wins. However, we are now on All Madden. And I really do feel like All Madden is going to be completely unforgiving for our 68. Feels like 68, but it's truly just a you know 66 overall quarterback, Colt Brennan. But got a lot of new pieces here today. Got Michael Crabtree. Nice. We brought in um, on the defense. Everything else was happening on the defense. We got Jared Allen, superstar X Factor. Nice. Okoye, solid depth. Nice. Brent Grimes, superstar X Factor. Nice. Jarris Bird, superstar. Nice. Patrick Willis, unreal. Getting old Patrick Willis here. They have an opportunity to maybe draft Navarro Bowman in the upcoming draft and relive that elite 49ers linebacking core. So our team is sitting at like, well, this is a team that's juiced to the gills, ready to win a Super Bowl. Can we do it? Still got a week of regular season to go. We have not secured anything yet. There's, if, hey, we go one and three, we might miss the playoffs kind of deal. So we will be back, I believe, coming up on Monday with episode 40 of Pinks to finish out this 2009 regular season. But thank you guys for the love and continued support on the channel and with this series. I know things are tough right now in the Madden landscape, but we're trying our best here. So if it's your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys back here tomorrow for the part two of the Rams rebuild and back here Monday for the new episode of Flashback Pinks. Peace out.